Hey guys, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be focusing on changing facial structure and body shape in order to make very small changes that have a, a huge difference on the look of the photo and the attractiveness of the model. Sometimes models don't quite have the look you want, but you'll be surprised with some very easy changes. You can make a big difference. Also, we're going to be making this very, uh, very soft and dreamy look with this photo. So we're going to, I'm going to go through how to enhance photos and give that very soft, dreamy look. And also we're going to be using some other tweaks and techniques to enhance this photo in a very easy way, but it'll have a massive difference. So these are things that you can take away and use in your own work. And um, yeah, so let's get started. Under profile, go to browse and look under camera matching and you can find the profiles for your camera so I shot this I believe in portrait yeah so that looks a bit better well that looks like what I'm expecting so I select portrait now I'm gonna make some tweaks in Adobe Raw here to get the look that I want um, you can do quite a lot of work in Adobe Raw um, you shouldn't really be changing colors later too much but at least get the base of your look and feel in this first image so I want to bring more of a hazy look to this image. So I'm going to reduce some contrast here. I'm going to include, increase the color temperature, warm it up a little bit. And I like in this example, I like a little bit more pink rather than on the green side. So just to give it that kind of more of a dreamy romantic type of look. We can bring up shadows. Don't want to go too far, otherwise I'm starting to lose a lot of contrast. I might try increasing some vibrance. I think that's plenty. Let's go ahead and open this up. So the first thing that I want to do is get straight into using the tool Liquify. I want to use this to change the facial structure first, duplicate the layer. I always like to keep a backup of what I'm working on. Now we're going to go into liquify. Now we're going to work on the face to start with. Now she's already pretty, but there's a few things that we can do very small changes to make a dramatic difference. Now I've studied a bit about, well, I've learned a bit about facial structure and how the development of the face can define attract attractivity, attraction, you know what I mean? So one of those things is the positioning of you know, the jawline. We all are fairly familiar with the jawline, but also the, the teeth, the front of this face, um, how forward or backward it is. So in this case, I'm gonna bring this lower portion of the face forward a little bit and tuck up the chin a little bit to make a more feminine jawline. So let's start with that. And I'm just going to Bring her face forward a little bit, not that. So very small amounts. So I've brought this, the front of the face forward, and now I'm going to be lifting this chin very slightly. Use a smaller brush, and I'm gonna tuck in the chin here. A bit more of a, a subtle point in the chin. Bring this part here is making her cheek look a little bit saggy, so I'm gonna bring this in more to make the jawline more defined. So I think that's a good start. Let's apply this and have a look at the difference. Okay. So that's a before and that's after. So you can see a very small change makes a massive difference. She does look a little bit like a different person, but um, it really depends on what the portrait's for. If you're going for a certain look, um, like I have no problem with changing the way a model looks. If it's for a commercial project or whatever reason, um, it's, I mean, they're there as a model and you're generating an image 
a certain look that you want. So what I'm going to do is go back into liquify and we're going to make some changes to the body shape. Now this dress is quite puffy and it's not really sitting in a pleasing way. So I'm going to make some small changes. Next step, we're going to look at doing some skin toning. So there's a quite a hot spot here. Uh, when I photographed this, I did have a source light over here filling in the shadows. And sometimes, depending on the model's makeup, you can get some hot spots. So we're going to deal with that right now. So I'm going to duplicate the layer and duplicate it. No, let's keep this first layer first. And I'm first going to remove some of these blemishes. Again, I don't really care um, about offending a model. Like if she was offended, I remove some freckles, and um, you know, I give her a copy of the photo with the freckles still there. But generally, I remove them because I'm after a certain look in a um, in an image. It's it's like art, you know you. You're after a look, it's not, nobody cares if it's accurate or not accurate. I don't think a model would be offended. And yeah. So I'm just using the healing brush tool. If you're not familiar, you just pick a source location, click there, somewhere with texture matching where your destination is. So we select some texture there and then we go over the, the spot. And yeah. Remove some of these. So if you haven't already, go and check out my tutorial on um, editing skin. And I go into a lot of this in detail. But I'm going to go over it a little bit faster in this one. Just not to bore you if, if you already know how to edit the skin. Okay, so we have a layer here with those edits. And we're going to call that soft. I'm going to duplicate that, call this one detailed. Now this soft layer is going to be our blending layer that goes behind the textured layer, the detailed layer. So we're going to go blur, Gaussian blur, and we want to blur this by about maybe 11 or 12. Let's go 11. And we've blurred this, that's going to be our, our softening layer. Our detailed layer, we're going to get image, apply image. And we will choose the source as soft. And the blending on subtract, scale to 128, assuming you have an 8-bit image. So go OK. And now we set this to uh, linear light. So these two layers kind of like the bottom layers but they're they're split into two so what we're going to do is we're going to blend all of this tone in the soft layer and we're going to use that actually we're going to have a 10 pixel feathered selection so we're going to select some of this area that we want to blend we'll start with the cheek so that's got a 10 pixel feather and we're going to do a motion blur and we're going to do it in an up and down direction or whatever direction works turn up this distance and if you look in the preview you can see it's softening all of that it's probably a little bit too far, I'll bring it down to about 60 
here and you can see that softened that whole that whole cheek and apart from that I think the rest of the skin is looking pretty good we're a little bit dark in there I'm gonna that's a little bit of a high spot there all right let's do another one Okay, that's looking good. I won't bother with. Hmm. Yeah, let's do some of the, some of this. You notice I'm not going all the way. That's really rough. I'm not going all the way to the edges because if I go too close, I'll get this weird smearing. I'll I'll start blending some of the outer edges. Alright. Do another motion blur. So you can see that's got a nice it's just adding a really subtle softening to the skin. You can see the before. You can see it looks a little bit sweaty, a little bit hot spots and, and after. Okay, all good. There's Photoshop tutorial. So go and have a look at that in detail. But Basically, I, I add some green into this area using curves and it will help balance out that sort of dark purple area. like this whole eye area looks a little bit sunken in so I want to lighten up all of that so I'm just going to do this kind of funky selection here use the fine control or something like levels then I can see the before and after Maybe a tiny bit more now I'm on the detailed layer now I'm going to try to blend some of this more fine detail because the soft layer is already soft here so I'm still seeing some of this um, detail so let's use the um, healing brush and just smooth some of that out let's see if we can blend this undo a little bit too far that looks pretty good select that area use levels again just lift up that highlight a little bit more it's not quite as round as I want it to be can I want more here lift up that highlight the good thing about using levels is I'm still retaining well I'm retaining texture but it's it doesn't really matter in this case but if you're using it on a regular flat photo, you're better off using levels, working on existing texture. I'm gonna blend out this edge here. It, there was still a bit of a line there. Yep, that's looking smooth now. So I've used the combination mostly of the soft layer, but I've needed to use some of the detailed layer. So we've got a very, very nice soft looking skin now so that what I'm going to work on now is some of these flowers they're not quite right so we're going to do some really quick nasty work Oh, 
Don't worry about that hair, we're gonna fix that later. All right, that looks a little bit more organized now. All right, I'm gonna flatten these two flowers into that merged layer. Now, this hair, it's really bugging me now. So I'm gonna use the um, healing brush. Now you can bring that healing brush down a little bit, like seven or eight. Maybe let's go eight, otherwise it might be too hard to control. And what I'm going to do is select somewhere nearby, like here. And then I'm going to draw. So there we go, we've removed a lot of these stray hairs, we've still got a bit of mess down here but so now we've sorted the model out, we're going to look at some techniques to make this whole thing look more sort of um, dreamy and that sort of nice soft hazy look. So it turns out one of the shots with lots of sun flare was with another model but it's from in the same location so this is a little trick you can do when you're taking shots and you want to get a certain look you may be able to get some complementary shots planning ahead for Photoshop purposes. I kind of did this by accident and I just thought it's actually going to be really useful in this case. So I'm going to open this up. I will add a little bit more haze. Now you know what, I think that's, that's okay. I think that's good as it is. I might remove some texture. All right, so we got this image. I'm gonna copy that, close it, paste it on top here. And what I can do is add a layer mask to hide this layer. And then I can start to paint in some of the edges of this flaring. I'm gonna start from this edge more. You can see I've got some of the other model there. So I'm gonna have to be careful. See how far I can go. And good thing about masking is you don't have to worry if you get something wrong. I'm gonna undo that because you can always um, remove it later, like here. So I could just swap my brush at any time and just remove those spots where I can see that other model there. Another thing we can do, I feel like this bottom area looks too plain. I want it to be kind of get hidden more with some of this haze. So I'm gonna make a duplicate layer again of that one. And I'm going to go back into camera raw and I'm going to remove some texture and you'll see that really hazes things up. So remove some texture. I'm going to add some haze by reducing the dehaze. It's got a beautiful soft look. Just increase up maybe these highlights. Maybe not the exposure. I think that's maybe almost almost right maybe a little bit of exposure yeah okay so that area is much brighter now again we're not going to use all of this we're just gonna use a layer mask hide all and we're going to paint in the areas we want so I'm on a low opacity right now, so I'm just going to blend it like this. And any sort of dark spots that I want to fill in to keep that really soft look going. If I want to change the overall, this whole thing's looking really too light now in general, but I can always just 
change that on the final adjustment at the end. But right now, I'm just going crazy getting all this softness in. Maybe in there. It does look pretty though. Okay, so we're pretty much done. I'm just going to do one last color adjustment. I'm going to copy this merge together, paste a new layer. I've got like a hundred layers now, but we can probably get rid of those. I'm going to hide those for comparison at the end. Now I'm just going to go a new camera raw filter and I might just increase the decrease the shadows a bit. I'll bring the lights. Bring those highlights down a little bit. Shadows down. The whole thing was just starting to get a little bit a little bit lost in the, the haze. But I love that. I think that is done. So we've started with this image and wow what a difference so i hope you guys like the tutorial i hope you got something valuable out of it something you can add to your own work and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any requests for tutorials photoshop how to's just let me know photography as well so look forward to seeing you in the next one